We're back. <laughs> um, why don't we put your finger in there and try that again? And let's show the armature. Stand up straight. Breathe in through your diaphragm. Good. I think it's time that we assemble the flute now. So why don't you grab your flute. Okay. <clears throat> so now you place the head joint inside of the body. Mm -hmm. Now the way that you align this is the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're gonna look at it like that. Mm -hmm. And the mouthpiece should align with the keys uh, just like the foot joint did. Okay. So if you trace a line from the mouthpiece to the foot joint, it should make a perfect line. Okay. Just a bit. Is that a straight line? The hole. Mm hmm. No, it is. Good eye. I tricked you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now um, we're going to work on our first three notes, mm -hmm. which are the notes. D, A, and G. So when you hold the flute, mm -hmm. there are a few balance points. The first is your right thumb, mm -hmm. which uh, I have this little grippy thing. The second balance point is going to be right here with your left pointer finger. And then the third balance point is your actual chin. Okay. So you can technically hold it like this. Without putting your fingers on. Mm hmm Okay. The most important keys that you use the most often are this, mm -hmm. your thumb. Mm -hmm. We can call it Herbert. It's the, um, like the griddle shaped one. Okay. And then there's this pinky one mm -hmm. that we call Percy. Mm -hmm. And the notes start on this small key. Okay. So the first note is thumb, pinky, and the B. Okay. And let me show you how it sounds. Okay. Okay. So um, where are your your points of balance again? It's right here. My pointer finger is like right mm -hmm. there. And it's the thumb. This this one. Exactly. And. And that's it for this one? Yeah. Just those. Mm -hmm. So your pinky, your first, mm -hmm. your thumb on the Herbert mm -hmm. key. So let's sit up straight in your piano, <laughs> your flute <laughs> position. Let's take a step back so that we can see ourselves. Okay. And then is Are you in a correct standing position? Yes. With your legs, okay. hip width distance. There we go. Now stand up straight. Mm -hmm. Let me double that. Stand up straight, put your flute up, mm -hmm. and remember how when we were working on just the head joint, you want it to be perfectly straight. Mm -hmm. So raise your right arm a little bit mm -hmm. to straighten it out. Mm -hmm. Your head straight up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now take a deep breath. Notice that you rolled it out a little bit okay. and it sounded better. I think that you could, you, your, uh, the hole is a little bit to the side. Okay. You want to keep it right in the middle of your lip. Beautiful. Yay. <laughs> now remember our tonguing exercise, mm -hmm. the spinning? Mm -hmm. Can you try going? Two, two, two. Very good. So, I think we can move on to the other notes. Mm -hmm. You wanna keep all your fingers down. Uh, show me your B fingering. Is that what I just played? Mm -hmm. Okay, this one, my thumb, 
Mm -hmm. So that's B. Mm -hmm. Now, to uh, to make lower notes, mm -hmm. you just add your fingers on. Oh, all of like Not this? all of them. We're going to go down one oh, note okay. to the A. And that's your the second finger on this B. That's what you're doing. Stand up straight. I want to work on just holding out a long, drawn out tone. Let's do it on the B first. So take a deep breath and then play it for four counts. So breathe in for, for four and breathe out for four. So in. the next note, mm -hmm. which is the G. I said G before, but it was actually an A. Okay, okay. Okay. This is B. B. A. A. And then G would be this one? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Should I do the fourth one again? Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. So we have these notes down. Have you heard um, a song called Mary Had a Little Lamb? Yes. Let's play it like this. for each one without tonguing mm -hmm. because that's new to you. Mm -hmm. I know you play the clarinet so you know what tonguing is. Mm -hmm. But um, right now we'll try to make the notes with a breath for each one. Mm -hmm. Stand up straight and keep your arm up. Mm -hmm. So it's not B first? Mm -hmm. Or no tonguing? Nope. that you could tongue it now? I can try it. Maybe, uh... I did that all in one breath. Why don't we first try doing it on just the B? Okay. Like... B, B, <laughs> B, B, okay. B. What, okay. Tongue it? Mm -hmm. Before we change the notes, just try tonguing like four four notes in the same breath. Okay. I'll take a breath. That's okay. Maybe we can try tonguing faster. Like a B B B B B. Good. Now, do you think you can play Mary Had a Little Lamb? Do you remember your fingerings? B A G. Mm -hmm. And you always a, keep this pinky slash Percy down and your Herbert thumb. Okay, down. So why don't, in one breath, just go B, A, G, A, B, mm -hmm. without tongue. Now we can 
gonna try the thing out for you. Good, good fingers. Yay. Now we can experiment with the lower register. Mm -hmm. So as we were talking about before, you just add your fingers down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the notes are always leaving the thumb and the pinky down. Mm -hmm. B, A, G, F. Yeah. I can't spell that e. word. <laughs> e. E. <laughs> Let me demonstrate for it. And then for the D, you let go of your pinky. But press down there. But then press down on that key. In this key. Mm -hmm. okay. See how when I go up, I put the pinky back. Mm -hmm. So I want you to do this. And remember your posture. So you could spread your legs a little more. And stand up straight. I think that's all we have today. Okay. You did an excellent job. Now to practice, I would practice long breath, long mm -hmm. tones mm -hmm. for next time. Mm -hmm. And it would be really good for you to practice tonguing even more. Mm -hmm. So you, you can practice rhythms. Mm -hmm. So you can start. Try that before you go. We want to do a whole note and then two halves, four quarters. <clears throat> I'm excited to be your teacher. <laughs> now, one more thing. Um, cleaning your instrument is very important. <clears throat> so I see you have a, a handkerchief to clean your flute out with. What we do is <clears throat> we stick it through this little hole and then wrap it around. Like so. Mm -hmm. You don't want water. Water builds up in your flute because you're using air and the hot air creates moisture. So before you, you pack up your instrument, you always clean it out and just swap it through. Mm -hmm. And you do that for every joint. What are the joint names again? The head. Mm hmm. The foot. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice work, Andy. I hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>